This year, we are very proud to announce that the salutatorian for the class of 2015 is Edward Thomas Manuel Odomar. I'm the kid from the story. So, good evening, Archbishop Anthony Apron, Father Jeff, Mr. Thompson, faculty and staff, families and attendants, most especially the class of 2015. <laughs> Came into strangers, the left brothers. Seems like such a cliche. It's the rallying cry of every single class. The idea that you can be a part of this brotherhood. This tradition spanning generations. It's freshman year, apprehensive because you're back at the bottom of the totem pole. Maybe some are a little worried because there's no girls here, it's fine. But then you stand at assembly and you hear the alma mater. You don't feel like it's just a student, you feel like a part of something so much bigger than you. I felt this especially in sports. I've literally shed blood and tears with you guys, and I love them more than anything. I wrestled for four years, two of which were alongside my brother. And I can say that some of the best moments in my high school involve my best family. Many of us can attest that there's nothing like putting on the green gold and going to battle for the school, no matter what sport you're doing. And then we have the barbecues. Be responsible for your own grill, the cooking, and the cleaning. Now, this would seem like a disaster, but definitely not for our class. Every guy who's part of the crew was responsible and dedicated to making every barbecue better than the last. We always have. Unlike some of the classes that only had fried rice and donuts. <laughs> Next up, a songs. If you followed us for the past four years, you know we've always been a little challenged. Challenged. We killed Mr. Thompson's favorite song, Don't Stop Believing. We're really sorry about that. <laughs> Luckily, our past attempts proved to be a cohesive force for us. We practiced longer. We danced harder, and our fig my fingers even started bleeding from constantly having to play the same songs over and over again. Can you guys just do it right the first time? So I keep doing it. And when the night came along, we left it all out on the stage. Finally, the class that always came to last won the whole thing. I don't mean to rub it in any salt on the students, juniors, and sophomores, and freshmen. Sorry. But to me, the whole point of it is not that we won. Actually, it felt great. But the fact that we were able to finally put it together and get cooperation from every single member of our class was a made it really, truly special. In the classroom, we were definitely not the most cooperative group of kids. Some unlikely forces pull us together, however. Take, for example, Ms. Jameson's term papers. These are really difficult to write <laughs> without help. So we formed study groups to make unlikely new friends. Donation efforts in our class, like the father talked about, definitely brought us together. Class heavily pushed food, toy, and clothing drives, getting the full support from every member of our class. And now, it's our final moments together. And you'll probably never see us all in the same room again. It's a huge turning point in our lives. We're getting ready to go our separate ways, face our own challenges and become years. But what was the point of the school? Of course, the content was important, but the, the content was the vehicle to drive forth the life skills that we need for the future. We learned to deal with lost lock keys and forgotten homework. We learned to cooperate with each other's strong personalities. We learned that life is definitely not always fair. Things may definitely not turn out for the best, or the way that they should. But we learned to take everything in stride and roll with the punches. Although we may not remember the content, the skills of responsibility, cooperation, and leadership will always stay with us. To end, I'd like to thank God Obviously, because of that, I'm here to you today. My mom, my dad, Lenny, Matias, can't begin to thank me for all the stuff that you've done for me. Thank you for fueling my drive and encouraging me to be the best that I could possibly be. My family, my rest of the family, and all the families here today, thank you for all your support and all of our endeavors. Archbishop Anthony Abron and my senior James Benaventi, thank you for all you've done for me during my spiritual journey. Father Jeff, Mr. Thompson, and Dr. Tom Robinson, Thank you for all you've done and continue to push for us forward. The faculty and staff, thank you for all you've done. Working to instill your lessons in us. 
most especially thank you to the class of 2015. It is now time to present the diplomas to the seniors. Seniors, please rise. The audience is asked to withhold a pause until all graduates have received their diplomas. The names will be read in alphabetical order, along with other information about each graduate. Thank you. 